Diana Dors was a well-known British actress remembered for her roles in films and on television. With her talent and presence, she became a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. We invite you to share your memories of Diana Dors. Do you recall a moment with her that holds a special place in your heart? Among her many roles, which performance do you feel was the most significant in her career? Your stories and experiences with this memorable star are important to us, and we'd be delighted to read about them in the comments. Stay tuned, as we have many interesting, surprising, and touching facts about Diana Dors to share with you. Diana Dors was born as Diana Mary Fluck on October 23, 1931, in Swindon, Wiltshire, England. She grew up in a working-class family, with her father being a railway employee. From a young age, she showed an interest in the performing arts and attended the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art. Her passion for acting led her to seek film roles, and she made her screen debut at the age of 14. Doors' blonde bombshell image and talent caught the attention of film producers, and she quickly became known as the British answer to Marilyn Monroe. Her early experiences in the entertainment industry, coupled with her determination to succeed, laid the foundation for her career as an actress. Diana Doors, a well-known actress, had three sons Mark and Gary with Dickie Dawson and Jason with Alan Lake. Her presence extended beyond the screen as she was featured on the cover of the Beatles album Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, positioned prominently in the front row. Her personal life faced challenges. She experienced pregnancies in September 1950, February 1952, and August 1955, which did not result in childbirth. Diana Doors showed early promise in the entertainment industry, winning a pin-up contest at the age of 13. Her passion for acting led her to the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art at just 14, and by 15 she had already made her first appearance in a film. Her career took a significant turn when she met Alan Lake in October 1968 on the set of an untelevised IT adventure series. It was during her time at L. Amda Productions that she adopted the surname Doors from her maternal grandmother, a change prompted by the potential for misinterpretation of her birth name, Diana Fluck, in the event of a lighting mishap. This name change marked the beginning of a new chapter in her life and career. Diana Doors, an English actress, faced significant challenges throughout her life, including substance abuse and addiction. Her struggles with alcohol and drugs were well documented, and they impacted her career and personal life deeply. Despite her talent and early success in the film industry, her personal life was marked by tumultuous relationships and financial issues. These problems were compounded by her addiction, which also affected her health over time. Doors' life story is a reminder of the harsh realities of addiction and the importance of support and treatment for those who suffer from substance abuse. It highlights the need for understanding and addressing the underlying issues that lead to such struggles. Diana Doors, a well-known actress, became famous not just for her roles on screen, but also for her personal life, which mirrored the free-spirited nature of the 1960s. Her London home was the site of parties that captured the essence of the era's social revolution. While her acting career included many roles, one that eluded her was Venus DeMarco in The Ice House, a part that ultimately went to another actress, Sabrina. Despite not getting every role she desired, Diana's impact on culture was significant. After her passing, she was honored in music with the song Good Day by Ray Davies, featured on the Kinks album Word of Mouth, a testament to her lasting influence in the entertainment world. Diana Doors faced serious health challenges later in life. She overcame meningitis in 1974, showing remarkable resilience. Eight years later, she was diagnosed with cancer, which led to her passing in 1984. Her personal life included a connection to Kathy Hewart Dawson, as she was once her mother-in-law. Professionally, Doors was well prepared for her acting career, having studied at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art and securing a contract with the Rank Organization, which was a significant achievement for actors of her time. Diana Doors showcased her acting skills on stage in productions like Man of the World and Three Months Gone. Although she was considered for the role of Timon in the Doctor Who series, the part ultimately went to Barbara Kinghorn. Surprisingly, after her passing, it was discovered that Diana had amassed a substantial fortune, rumored to be in the millions, which remained hidden and unclaimed. Her financial acumen was as sharp as her acting talent, yet the whereabouts of this fortune are still unknown, adding a layer of mystery to her already fascinating story. 
Diana Doors faced significant health challenges when she contracted meningitis, which led to thyroid issues and a noticeable weight gain from her previous weight of nine stone. In a bold move during 1972, she actively supported a campaign that advocated for the rights of prisoners to have conjugal visits with their spouses. Her personal life was marked by her role as a mother to Jason Doors Lake, born to her, and her husband Alan Lake, whose life spanned from September 11, 1969 to September 14, 2019. Diana Doors, a notable figure in the entertainment industry, became the youngest person at age 20 to own a Rolls Royce, marking a significant moment in her life. The surname Doors, which she adopted as her stage name, was originally her grandmother's maiden name. Tragedy struck when her third husband, Alan Lake, took his own life just five months following her passing, leaving behind a legacy touched by both glamour and sorrow. Diana Doors dedicated much of her later life to supporting religious and charity organizations. Despite her talent, she faced setbacks in her acting career, missing out on roles that went to Gene Simmons, such as Young Estella in Great Expectations and Kanchai in Black Narcissus. She also auditioned for the part of Heidi in Give Us the Moon, which Simmons ultimately played. After her unexpected passing, Diana Doors was laid to rest at Sunningdale Catholic Cemetery in Windsor, Berkshire, England. Her journey reflects the unpredictable nature of the film industry and the personal commitment to giving back to the community. Diana Doors, a well-known actress, expanded her career to television by hosting The Diana Doors Show, where she engaged with guests and audiences alike. Her family legacy continued through her grandchildren Morgana and Ruby Lake, Lauren, Lindsay Doors, Tyler M., and Emma Rose Dawson, each carving their own paths in life. Recognizing her significant contributions to cinema, Turner Classic Movies paid tribute to her work by showcasing her films for an entire day during their summer under the Stars event in 2020, celebrating her memorable performances and the lasting impressions she left on the film industry. Diana Doors, a young actress with promise, caught the attention of the British film industry and was signed by J. Arthur Rank in 1947. Despite her potential, she faced a setback when she was deemed too inexperienced for the lead role in The Blue Lagoon after a screen test at Pinewood Studios following her 15th birthday. Her career continued to develop, and by the mid-1960s, she was considered for the title role in Cat Ballou. However, the part eventually went to Jane Fonda. Diana's journey in the film industry showcases the challenges and opportunities faced by actors in their careers. Diana Doors, a well-known actress, was the mother of two sons, Mark and Gary Dawson, with her former husband, Richard Dawson. Her journey into acting started early. At just 14 years old, she auditioned for the role of Kanchai in the film Black Narcissus. Despite not getting the part due to her young age, which went to Gene Simmons, this early experience did not deter her passion for acting. But she received her education at Colville House in Swindon, which set the foundation for her future career in the performing arts. Diana Doors, hailing from Swindon, admired many screen legends such as Marlene Dietrich and Mae West who influenced her acting career. While she was critical of many movies she starred in, she held high regard for her work in films like A Kid for Two Farthings and Blonde Sinner. Her talent was recognized when she was the preferred choice for the role of Granny in The Company of Wolves. However, health issues prevented her from taking the role, which then went to Angela Lansbury. Diana Doors, born as Diana Mary Fluck, always had a clear vision for her life, one that included a touch of luxury she dreamt of as a child. Growing up as the only daughter of Winifred and Albert Fluck, she found joy in the simplest of playthings of Mud Pond. Yet, even then, she aspired for more. This childhood wish manifested into a steadfast goal to never settle for a home without a swimming pool. It was more than a symbol of success. It was a reminder of where she came from and the dreams she turned into reality. Diana Doors, a celebrated actress known for her work in British films, faced a tragic turn when her husband, Alan Lake, took his own life just five months after her death. This event left their son, Jason, without both parents. Diana had previously struggled with financial issues despite her successful career, and her estate was found to be in debt upon her passing. The stark contrast between her public persona and personal hardships highlights the often unseen struggles of those in the spotlight. 